nothing Welcome back, guys. Lazy and useless, the lot of them. They can't even come to think of it. Maybe I'm the trap. How much gold do I even have? 10,000? Bitchin! Quick save. Stop right there. Tower is off limits until further notice. If you need potions, hand over to Andy. Here we go. What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please don't let me keep you. Uh, straight away. Gianna, Castle Chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. So you mean the the big iron mask, the long robes. That's not what you expected? Really? <laughs> I can scarcely imagine. Hello. Another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there then get out. You misunderstood. For I am the gourmet. The gourmet? The gourmet. Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Yes? I, well, I just can't believe the gourmet is a dark elf. How difficult it must have been for you in Morrowind. The food there is... Silence! I am ready to prepare the grand feast. Oh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. Where? Where is the chef's hat? I demand you tell me, peasant. Uh... No, uh, seriously. Oh, there we go. Stupid. Uh, chef's hat. I'm gonna look so, so retarded. Um. All right. I put on the chef's hat, and this is how I look. Oh, just look at you! Absolutely brilliant. Oh. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Really? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> the gourmet is here to cook, not talk. <laughs> Let's hope to. The broth doesn't catch my loincloth. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Yeah. Uh, let me consult my book. Four cups of chicken broth, four cups of beef, beef broth, two and a half ounces of butter, one wooden flagon of flour, one cup of diced carrots, half a cup of diced onions. Alright. Maybe we should start So what is the first special ingredient? Carrots. Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Splash of mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. One ninroot. Ninroot. Really? Oh, I use ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Diced horker meat. Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. 
I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? There's one final ingredient. Here, at this. Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Now, now, Giada. Who is the gourmet here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. Alright then, your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. <laughs> Can I, can I go back to wearing my other old school stuff? I will quick save here. Muraki. Snark. Might I say, what a lovely meal this will be. You can't even... Ah, wow, you suck at walking up. <laughs> walking upstairs. Quit shoving your ass in my face. Please. Called me hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Yet that Here we are. The gods are nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events. Though. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha, here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, <sighs> the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... Somebody help! The gourmet and the chef have poisoned the Emperor! Get them! Yeah! <laughs> that man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happy that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. The you know what? fuck? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your son is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never should oh! come. And that's how we deal with these people. But now, 
I ask of you. Who betrayed me? By the order of the yard. Stop right there. I'd rather die. East Indian Trade Company. Warehouse. Well, gotta say not all that unexpected, but who from the Dark Brotherhood would betray me? Well, you know, I think Astrid would, probably, or Arnbjorn. Maybe he wouldn't, actually. I did seem to gain his respect. And, uh, as I saved him. But who knows? Everyone, every one of them could be behind it. After all... Ah, damn it. Really? You're still pursuing me? <sighs> you are annoying, aren't you? Aren't you? At least I'm going getting some cardio, you know? It's just getting a little bit of workout. I can't believe they're still pursuing me. I'd be surprised. Enemies are nearby. What enemies? I refuse to believe I have any enemies. I'm the kindest man ever. So what if you said like, nah, I'm not gonna put it in there. Then like, what? That's actually pretty interesting. When I replay that, I'm gonna try that out. Stenda is the god of righteous rule by might and merciful forbearance. Shadowmere, my friend. Don't cry and complain now.
Shadowmere, you're you're a bad warhorse. You're not doing it right. Let me show you how it's done. Now, who needs killing? Really? God damn it, Ambjorn. Gabriella. If I am to die today, so be it. So forget the dark brother. Arcturus. Damn, invade my home. The Nasir. So you are alive. I was starting to wonder. The Emperor, it was all a trap. Someone set us up. Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assumed as much. Before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <laughs> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <laughs> so, thanks. We need to get out of here. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <laughs> roasted alive. Come on. What about the mother? I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. Sorry, my friend. I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. Been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. I have to speak with Astrid. She's here in the sanctuary. Follow me. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Too hot. Alive. You're alive. Thanks to this. Astrid. Shh. Please. 
please. <clears throat> there is much I have to say. <clears throat> and not much time. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. M Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, I said this. I was such a fool. All of this. It's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. You'll be judged by Cephas in the void. I pity you. No. Don't pity me. I deserve whatever fate the Dread Lord has in store. I betrayed you. And now Marrow has betrayed me. <laughs> Fitting. I just wanted things to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A, a chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. What are you saying? I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill... me. heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Astrid? By the sands, I still can't wrap my head around it. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Well... <sighs> Here we go. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus needs <laughs> Must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nazir of your plans, for you are the listener and must bind this family together. I understand, Night Mother. Hail, Cephas. I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming Cephas, to the Cephas, what a mess. Not I exactly. The Night Mother has spoken to me again. What? Well, what did she say? I must speak with Amund Montier once more. Amund Montier? But that would mean... The contract is still on. 
the true emperor must be assassinated. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Our family lives on, Nasir. You have to trust me. <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. But don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? All right, my girl. Pack your things. We're moving. The race is still on, my friends. Now, the list of players have been cut down, and only three remain. Me, Amon Montier. And Titus Mead the second. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. Cephas is to a soul, wouldn't you agree? By the gods! You you're alive! But I had heard your sanctuary! Please! You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead. The true Emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He... The Emperor. The real Emperor. Where is he? You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news. Wonderful news. The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Commander Morrow, where is he? Ah, <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure. The ship, the Kataraya, how will I get on board? Well, I don't know. Right. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. All right. That's all I need to know. The Emperor's ship won't stay forever. That's all I need to know. We just received word that somebody tried to kill the Emperor. Yeah. Oh, but he will die. I'll make sure of it. Really? Got some good pieces out here. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Not so that. Got the blade of woe here. <sighs> Might as well sell the dagger. 
Hunting Bill of Souls. Um. Sell that too. Um. <laughs> I that it's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's thanks. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you sure. Probably gonna take me prison. I'll serve some jail time again. Yep. All right, guys. Well, when I next episode, we'll be on the streets again, ready to kill, ready to do our thing. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment, and tune into the next.